So today, we're gonna go ahead and compare Ultra Realism in two of the most anticipated AI image generators, which are Midjourney and Leonardo AI. So we're gonna see which tool performs the best in creating ultra realistic images, which are human portraits, realistic images, and landscapes, right? So without further ado, let's just jump right into the comparison. All right, guys, so here we go. Uh, we are in our mid journey and Leonardo.ai. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to go ahead and compare ultra realism in both of these AI tools, right? But before that, if you talk about pricing of both of these AI tools, so you guys can see mid journey has four plans. So does the Leonardo.ai. So mid journey basically starts from $10 to standard 30 to pro 60 and mega plan is 120. Whereas Leonardo.ai offers you free version as well, where you can get 150 daily tokens and the starting package is $10 per month. And which is then we have $24 and $48. So the pricing is a lot similar, except for the fact that Leonardo.ai provides you the free version, but it's not like that much useful if you want to go ahead and compare your images with Midjourney. So if you want to get the full access of Leonardo.ai, like you want to have the options of ultra realism, so the $10 should be the must. So yeah, for the pricing, we can say that the Midjourney and Leonardo has same starting prices, okay, which is $10 per month. Okay, so coming back to the comparison, obviously, as you guys know, like the prompt formulas for both of the AI tools are different, right? Like I'm talking about in Leonardo.ai, the prompt formula was description of the subject, plus type of image, plus image style and camera viewpoint. And if you talk about Midjourney V6, so the prompt formula for that is entirely different, that it's more and more descriptive, right? So yeah, for comparing uh, both of these AI tools, like obviously the prompts are going to be different, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take the same subject, like let's just say I'm looking for uh, a portrait of an artist surrounded by chaotic sort of colorful paint. So how I can go ahead and tweak that one particular prompt like one particular subject into different prompt formulas, right? So for that, obviously, uh, we're gonna go ahead and take help from Chad GPT, okay? So you just need a little bit of prompting skills in that. So what I did, I went ahead and gave the prompt formula for Leonardo.ai, created some examples, and then I went ahead and copy paste those examples and set Chad GPT to take this prompt formula again of mid journey and create the same examples for me. And what I said, adjust this prompt with this prompt formula, but the subject and output remains the same. Okay, so now we have two prompts in which the subjects are same, but the prompts are different according to the prompt formulas of both of the AI tools, right? So that's really smart. You just need to go ahead and use uh, AI can be ChatGPT or any other tool in order to create that prompts for you, all right? All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and compare both of these AI tools by generating some human portraits, realistic images and landscapes. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and create some human portraits. So I said in mid journey portrait photography of a competitive artist surrounded by a chaotic swirl. Then I provided the prompt formula and similarly, the subject is the same, but the prompt is different according to the prompt formula for Leonardo.ai, okay? And I went ahead and generated both of these images. So yeah, as you guys can see, the images in both of these AI tools are really, really good. If I can go ahead and upscale the best one, I think the second one looks really good. So I'm going to go ahead and upscale the second one in mid journey. So yeah, here you go, guys. So I think uh, both of these AI tools did really well according to a prompt that I just uploaded. So yeah, Leonardo.ai did really well as well. If you go ahead and see our next variation, and also I can go ahead and do that for mid journey as well. So yeah, uh, there you go guys. So the results are really, really good. Like check out the detail in mid journey. I'm not sure, but in Leonardo.ai, it did really, really well. Keeping in mind that this is a free AI tool. Like I'm using Leonardo.ai for free right now and I have paid $10 for mid journey. So yeah, that's absolutely crazy. Like how good Leonardo.ai performs because of this photo reel and alchemy option that we just got in that, right? Okay, so now let's just go ahead and take our next example. So I'm gonna go ahead and create human portrait of a fisherman, okay? So for the Leonardo.ai, keeping in mind the prompt formula, I'm gonna go ahead and type in my prompt that a weather fisherman, his eyes reflecting the stories of a life at sea and all those important details such as hyper-realistic, style with soft natural lighting and similarly i'm gonna go ahead and 
do that in mid journey as well type in backslash imagine hit my prompt portrait of photography of a weathered fisherman his eyes reflecting the stories of alive at sea and all those details okay so now let's just go ahead and create this and see the output okay we're also going to go ahead and test out the speed in both of these ai tools all right so the mid journey is already done and leonardo.ai is still in progress all right so it is done too. Wow, the speeds aren't like that much different. So they both have a very competitive speed, if I can tell you guys. So yeah, if I can go ahead and test out the results. So I think Leonardo.ai provided us pretty good variations of the images, which was a weather fisherman and similarly goes for the mid journey. But I think the lighting is more good in mid journey. So if I can go ahead and upscale the best one in mid journey. So I think the first one looks really good. So I'm going to go ahead and hit upscale one. Now, let's just go ahead and compare both of these images. So, yeah, clearly a mid journey takes a lead in this human portrait because check out the detail. Every little thing is up to the mark. And if we see in Leonardo.ai, the clarity isn't good enough, right? But in mid journey, if we can go ahead and check out the hair, like the beard, like the freckles, everything is absolutely perfect. And Leonardo. Uh, if I can go ahead and zoom, so yeah, you can see clearly it's lacking a bit of detail and clarity, right? So let's just go ahead and compare the second variation. Uh, I think in that, I'm very much liking the bouquet effect of the first image in Leonardo.ai. And similarly, if I can go ahead and do that for my fourth and mid journey. So yeah, take a look at the results now. Clearly, uh, mid journey is a clear winner over here because check out the lighting. The lighting is up to the mark like Check out the shirt, every single detail is very valid, right? And similarly for Leonardo.ai, it's lacking a bit of a clarity. I don't know why, but mid journey, it clearly takes a lead over here, right? So now uh, let's just go ahead and test out some realistic images in both of these AI tools and compare them, right? So uh, for the realistic images for the first example, I'm gonna go ahead and type in Leonardo that a vintage locomotive blowing steam against a backdrop of an autumnal forest to track disappearing into distance. So I'm basically creating a scene of a forest. So similarly, by tweaking the prompt, I'm going to go ahead and do that for my mid journey as well. Type in backslash imagine. Type in a prompt which will be like documentary photography of a vintage locomotive blowing steam against a backdrop of an autumnal forest. So let's just go ahead and create both of these images and see how are they going to look, okay? All right, so wow, this is crazy. Both of these uh, tools finished uh, the generation just in time, right? And if you go ahead and take a look at the results, so Midjourney did a pretty good job. The steam is coming out and the scene is looking really, really beautiful, especially the fourth one right over here. And similarly, a uh, goes for Leonardo as well. Like, wow, this is absolutely crazy. Like, check out this image. And if I can go ahead and upscale the first one in Midjourney. So yeah, wow, this is absolutely crazy. But if I'm being honest, the Midjourney did a pretty good job. Like, check out the detail, the result, uh, the little, little detail in the trees over here and the steam. Wow, this looks really, really good. But over here, I think it's lacking a bit of a detail over here, as you guys can see, it's getting a bit blurry, right? But other than that, uh, keeping in mind that the Leonardo.ai is a free tool, it did a pretty handsome job. Like if I can go ahead and compare some other variation, let's just say go for the fourth one. And for that, I'm going to go ahead and select the first one. So yeah, take a look at this. Wow, Mid Journey is really, really good in that. But also, uh, don't forget that the Leonardo is uh, the free AI tool. And for that, it resulted in very beautiful image, right? All right, so now let's just take one more example in a realistic image. And for that, I'm going to go ahead and take some kind of a urban cityscape just to see the efficiency of both of the tools. So for the Leonardo.ai, I'm going to go ahead and say an urban cityscape bathed in the warm glow of sunset towering skyscrapers reflecting the fading sunlight against the backdrop and all the details. And similarly, uh, for the mid journey, I'm gonna go ahead and tweak my prompt, type in backslash imagine and say, architectural photography of an urban cityscape bathed in the warm glow of sunset and all the other details. And for the variation now, I'm gonna go ahead and create two variations because I'm running off my credits in an auto.ai. So yeah, now let's just go ahead and generate these images and see how are they gonna look, okay? All right, so this time Leonardo is done because obviously we created two variation instead of four this time so leonardo is done first and yeah mid journey is also completed so if i can go ahead and compare 
This is upscale the first one or the second one in mid journey. All right, wow. So take a look at the result. Uh, this looks really, really good. Just again, lacking a bit of detail in the images, but mid journey, wow, this looks really, really beautiful. Like absolutely perfect, right? All right, so if I can go ahead and look at some of the other variation in mid journey, let's just upscale the fourth one and see the next one in Leonardo.ai. So yeah, clearly mid journey absolutely nailed leonardo.ai you can check out the results check out the clouds check out the sunlight everything looks absolutely perfect and also for leonardo.ai this doesn't look that bad everything is to the point uh the building the sunset in the back everything is good but over here mid journey is a clear winner right all right so now let's just go ahead and test some landscape over here so for that, I'm going to go ahead and type in the prompt, a cascading waterfall descends through a lush emerald green canyon surrounded by towering cliffs and all that. And for the mid journey, I'm going to go ahead and type that landscape photography of a cascading waterfall descending through a lush emerald green canyon and all the details. So now let's just go ahead and create both of the landscape images and see how are they going to look, okay? All right, so both uh, of the images are done. And if you can go ahead and take a look at the Leonardo's creation and also the mid journey ones. All right, so take a look at the mid journey ones, right? I think the exposure is a bit too high in this image, but other than that, Leonardo image did absolutely fantastic job. So let's just go ahead and take a look at some of the other creation. Let's just see third one or let's just see the second one. So yeah, wow, this is absolutely beautiful. Like take a look at this landscape of forest. We have a waterfall and some kind of fog over here. And the Leonardo one, I think this one looks a bit fake and grainy and not too much clear. But mid journey, this looks absolutely beautiful, right? All right, so for my final verdict, if you want to go ahead and choose between both of these AI tools, so I suggest stick with mid journey because it provides lots of other features, models, parameters. But in Leonardo.ai, it is free for some time. But after that, obviously, you need to go ahead and pay for it like it will be similar $10 per month and mid journey offers you all the creations for $10 per month as well so yeah for me I'm gonna go ahead and choose mid journey any day over leonardo.ai all right so yeah, I hope you like this uh, quick comparison between mid journey and leonardo.ai so yeah I hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one until then take care bye bye